Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric. Um, today we're running the printer as you can see in the background. So uh, we had a nice little break with the holidays. Um, not too many orders, but as soon as Christmas passed and a little bleeding up to January, the orders all came in like crazy. So we're back, we're back at it. It's like there's no break and that's a good thing, right? Um, only problem is I started a new job uh, the beginning of the new year, so it's been a little adjustment, and I'm exhausted, so I'm trying to get these orders out so I can stay on top of everything, shirt orders, um, transfer orders, a bunch. Um, I don't want to complain or anything, but it's a lot of work. You might be able to tell I'm a little tired, but my hair looks a little crazy. It was combed, but... You know, we're just going to make it through this video, whatever it takes. Um, I have a few things I want to go over with you guys today. I had a couple questions about uh, DTG uh, versus DTF. And also, um, I've been seeing a lot of videos on white toner lately. So, had a few questions regarding that. And um, I can go ahead I'll an answer that for you here today. Uh, well, at least what I think. I don't have a white toner printer. Um, but I have felt samples from a white toner printer. So, we could just, you know, give my opinion on it and yeah let's go ahead let's get into this printing as you see my stripped down printer it's going at it got some chevy designs coming out right now um i had to so originally the person who got these designs for me he sent them to me the wrong size and you know it's important if you send me images they need to be ready to print I can't be responsible for, you know, sizing them, uh, changing colors, any of that, because I don't know what you want. <laughs> if I get it wrong, then I, I, it's out of my pocket. I got to eat the cost to fix it. So it's like, send me them ready, and all I got to do is hit print. So, um, of course, he, he did send them ready, but there's also a few more issues with his ready to print files, but it's... This is the last time I want to reprint them for him, so I'm kind of get I'm doing these for free, but I'm already really busy, so it's like, you know, there's only so much I can do. I can't reprint for the third time, but um, let me show you the issue. So this is the back of the print. For whatever reason, his images have a transparent part, probably because they're just being downloaded off the internet, so they're not good quality images. Um, I fixed them before in the past, but. I don't have the time to do that now, so um, it'll have to work for him. As you see, you know, over here, it's all perfect. At the bottom, it's perfect, and then you get these little areas where it's getting messed up. And, like, that's nothing, that's not the printer, that's the image, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll have to make it work. Since we're talking about since we're talking about print problems um if you can see here this image you can see all that white so this original image i'm sure the person downloaded it off etsy or you know some kind of platform platform like that and um it's probably made for sublimation and it has a bunch of invisible pixels like if you have a design with smoke or any kind of like um gradient that goes off to nothing it'll have invisible pixels and with dtf printing or dtg printing it prints a white underbase and if there's invisible pixels it will print white underneath them whether they're invisible or not so yep um she ordered about five of these so i printed one i sent her a picture She's on the East Coast, so she won't be able to see that tonight. Unfortunately, I wanted to get these out to her, but um, I'm not going to print the other four just in case she says she doesn't want it like this. If she's okay with this, I'll get the rest ready and get it out to her. My hair is my hair is so ridiculous right now. Sorry, guys. It's like I got a toupee on or something. I'm, I'm not sure if that problem will be... Um, will carry over a white toner just because I don't have enough experience with it. Uh, my biggest gripe with white toner is I think it's more work than DTF to 
get a single transfer. And then the quality of that transfer, I'm not super happy with. Um, I had a company send me out samples of theirs. And um, it doesn't pass the stretch test. Like, the image looks great. It's a great looking image. As long as you're, you know, the, the file you use is quality, the image will look great. It's just the transfer itself um, has no stretch. So I'm not sure how it's going to hold up in the wash. I heard it doesn't hold up as good as uh, DTF transfers. Um, and then if you do any kind of stretching, it's going to crack instantly. With a directive film, it's almost like vinyl. It has some stretch to it. Obviously, you can't, you know, stretch it for, you know, infinity. It'll definitely split on you. But uh, that was my biggest gripe with white toner. And that's why I chose to go direct to film. And it's also a little bit cheaper if you know how to convert a printer to get into direct to film compared to white toner. Good thing about white toner is, though, it's already commercially available. So there's companies selling that that support it. It's, you know, probably, probably less of a headache, I would think. So there, there are good things and bad things with pretty much every type of, um, whichever type of, uh, I don't know, printer you go with, whether it's direct to film, direct to garment or white toner. Like, um, per me personally, I prefer direct to garment over all, over everything, but the washability, it probably is worse than direct to film and white toner. Well, like I said, I don't have any too much experience in white tone so um director film should last longer than director garment but director garment really shines in the fill like with a uh, director film if you have a big sheet like i said it'll feel like a plastic sheet on your chest or wherever you know wherever the image is um with director garment it kind of soaks into the fibers it's more like screen printing not quite as nice as sublimation if you do it on white it's almost just as good as sublimation, but if you're on black, because you got the pre-tree and a white underbase, it's going to be a little bit more filled than a sublimation uh, shirt. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with direct to film uh, It's just trying to get quality images from your customers is probably the hardest thing, but that's going to be pretty much for any type of printer, whether you're doing white toner or direct to garment you have to spend a lot of time teaching them or I'm, I'm to the point where, you know, I'll, I'll edit the images for them, but I got to charge just cause I can't spend an hour for editing a image just to do a single print. So it's like, you could imagine that's not really worth the time. So I got to charge, you know, an hourly rate for that. Um, some are willing to pay it, some aren't, but that's okay. If they order, you know, a bulk amount of transfers. I usually will just edit it and not say anything, but um, you know, it's up to you, whatever you do when you get into uh, this type of printing. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'll show you the process. I guess I've, I've showed you before, but we'll do it again. Okay. So I have it in my fancy powdering box and I'm just going to let it coat. Oh man. It's hard to do this one-handed. So, just gonna let it coat. Pull it right above. And then I like to go back a second time. All right, so after you're done applying the powder, um, we're going to take it to my little mini oven in the backyard. I keep it in the backyard just because that stuff is nasty and I don't want to breathe it in. I want as much fresh air as possible. So, um, I'm not really good lighting out there, so I don't think I'll film it. But what I do is I turn the convection oven on. It's a little mini table countertop oven. I turn it to 250 and I let it go for 90 seconds to two minutes. And after that, it's good to go. You can press it on whatever type of material you want, polyester, cotton, you know, blend, whatever. And um, when you do press it, you want to press it between 300 and 315. And you're going to do that for 15 seconds. You let the transfer cool. You're going to peel it off. And then 
give it one more press for about five seconds and you're good to go you got a nice t-shirt all right guys so here is my super fancy uh convection oven here it's the biggest one i could find it will fit uh, my largest film just barely but it'll fit and uh once it's preheated i'll start curing those transfers uh this is probably the worst part about direct to film is doing this with white toner i don't think you have to worry about any toxic fumes so there's one advantage to white toner all right so this is the biggest film that i uh i currently sell as you can see it's kind of up on the sides but it fits and we're just gonna go ahead give it a couple minutes and you could really tell when it's ready. You'll see kind of like the powder, will, will, it'll go from a powder to um, like an orange pill consistency. So once it gets the orange pill, you're good to pull it out. So another thing with white toner, um, if you want to get into um, the business of selling transfers, I definitely wouldn't recommend white toner for that. It's just too long of a process to make a single transfer um dtf is going to be the way to go for that so uh check one for dtf so like i said pros and cons to everything there's certain things that uh each style does better but there's not one perfect system it's just you know which one do you want to learn uh, which one's going to work for you in your situation like if you were just doing t-shirts white toner is great um, if you just want to do t-shirts, Dr. Film's great. <laughs> if you just want to do t-shirts, Dr. Garment's great. So, <laughs> it, you know, that is just whatever you want to do. Dr. Garment, though, you got to spend, uh, you know, enough for a car to get into that. So, um, definitely a negative there. Um, Dr. Film, you could get into it for about a thousand. And then white toner printers, I had to double check the price on it, but. I know Rakoma is sending a bunch out, so uh, that's an option. Rakoma has good, really good, um, Rakoma has really good financing options, so um, that's something. I guarantee you, you'll see them with a the direct-to-film printer here in the next year or two. Promise you. Um, all the big companies are starting to do it. Coldesi's, they're getting one. And then there's a bunch of small companies that order their printers from China, from Alibaba, like we got our embroidery machine. And they rebrand it and sell it as a direct-to-film printer. But it's the same thing as a desktop, really. Same heads. They don't have a special head for a direct-to-film. So um, print head is what I'm talking about. Uh, let me see. Anything else I'm missing? Hmm. Either way, whichever technique you go with, you're going to have to learn how to work with digital files. Um, you don't have to learn how to make them yourself, but you probably should <laughs> at least learn how to edit them. Um, at least know what type you need so you could forward that information on. Like on Etsy, people buy files and they send them to me and they're horrible. They look like thumbnails, you know? So you gotta be careful when you're buying on Etsy too. Make sure it's 300 DPI, which is dots per inch, but that's the resolution. And, um, what was the other one? I don't remember. Hey, so, um, let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see a comparison of a direct to garment shirt, a white toner shirt, or maybe a white toner transfer, and a direct to garment or a direct to film transfer slash shirt. So, leave a comment down below if you think that would be good entertainment and you know i think it'll be a good test for us all to see the differences so let me know what you think all right so as the night goes on my hair gets worse but uh in other news i just became monetized on youtube so thank you guys for uh, subscribing and watching uh could not literally could not have done it without you guys so uh definitely appreciate every one of you and if you haven't already please like this video uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I post, and then, um, you know, that just helps YouTube, uh, to push me in the algorithm so I can grow more and reach more people, so, 
uh, once again, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Could not have done it without you guys and uh, probably not without Nita and her clout. So <laughs> thank you, Nita, if you're watching this. She's probably hearing me in the other room right now, but I'll thank her anyways. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, I don't have much else to do but make some more transfers and then I'm going to press some shirts. But I don't think you guys want to see that, but maybe you will. Let me know down below. You guys want to see me press some shirts? I'll put it in the next video. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.